I question if this is an effective use of my time. I have a plan, you know. It's all worked out in my head. Well, sort of. I know what I want to do this morning. I've been scouting this area for a couple of weeks and I've become quite familiar with the habits of a local kingfisher. I've even narrowed it down to the exact stick. Look, I'm not saying this is guaranteed success, but I feel pretty good about this spot. The key? Well, the key of course is patience. Yeah, patience. Huh. Being patient is extremely difficult when there are other opportunities all around me. In the business world, we'd call this opportunity cost. Essentially, I'm weighing the cost of missing out on prime duck photos against the possibility of getting some elusive kingfisher shots. And in terms of prospects, I'm telling you friends, there are a lot of ducks. It's killing me that I'm not down there photographing the ducks, seriously. Here I am just sitting, staring at a stick. My original plan is not sounding so good right now. Yeah, patience? Patience is sounding like a bad plan. And that's why I'm asking myself, is this really an effective use of my time? Well, good thing there's plenty of time left in the day. Yeah, so it turned out that that was not an effective use of my time. But there's good news. I have three more locations lined up for the weekend. On to session number two, the other duck pond. To say I am highly familiar with this location is an understatement. Last year, during the winter months, this pond was like a second home. There are beautiful perches throughout the ecosystem and nice little choke points for the ducks to migrate through. It's reassuring to know that I can come to a place like this and just not stress. I can take comfort in knowing that there will be plenty of opportunities that swim my way. Listen, I spend 40 hours a week at the office, plus running errands after work, and then there's the chores. I don't want my outing to be another chore. This outing, this outing is a serene treat. The sand in my beard and wet pants from the damp leaves is a welcome retreat from the stresses of everyday life. And it doesn't hurt that I get to spend some time with these beautiful birds. That being said, this has undoubtedly been an effective use of my time. Highly effective. On day two, I started the morning with Katie at my side. I wasn't looking for epic bird opportunities. Sunday mornings are more about the leisurely walks through the park. However, a very accommodating group of finches stole away my attention for a bit, 
It's a good thing that Katie is very supportive of my hobbies. I've been asked on occasion, what's your favorite bird to photograph? Well, for me, it's simple. My favorite bird is the bird right in front of me. I've always taken great pleasure in spending time with these common birds. Yeah, sure, it's not as exotic and I'm not likely to get any recognition for my work with goldfinches. However, it brings me great pleasure to sit and observe these little guys. As a matter of fact, I ran across that kingfisher and I can proudly say that I spent more time with the finches than I did with that pesky old kingfisher. Well, maybe that's not by choice. But I can say with confidence that the finches were much more fun to photograph. Any time spent with finches is time well spent. As the day was nearing to an end and the shadows grew longer, I focused my attention back to my favorite duck pond. It was shaping up to be a beautiful evening and I knew I'd have some gorgeous backlighting. Additionally, I brought the bigger lens with the hope of capturing some of that behavior that's farther out in the pond. I get excited when conditions come together like this. However, my enthusiasm subsides when I observe that the geese have overrun the location. Uh, but no big deal. Back to playing the waiting game. All I can do now is put myself in position and hope that the mergansers or the comrades return. And in the meantime, I'll see what kind of magic I can make with these geese. After all, I can use the practice. The sun was setting fast and the practice session quickly turned into game time. I had to keep my head on a swivel as the mergansers and ducks swam by from every direction. The backlighting was beautiful, but it was tricky. The ducks would swim through the light and the exposure would change with nearly every frame. It was a magical experience watching the birds dance across that water. I can confidently say that for those last few minutes of daylight, I completely forgot about all the stresses of life. This evening's experience was a clear reminder of why I love this beautiful hobby. And that plan, that plan I had worked out in my head, remember? The kingfisher that was sure to land on that stick? Well, I might try that plan out another day. But this day, this day was undoubtedly the most effective use of my time. Friends, I sure do appreciate you watching. If you enjoy these types of stories and would like to get inspired by some more little trips I've gone on, take a look at this playlist. Thanks for stopping by.